I'm standing at the corner of Fresh Pond Road and Myrtle Avenue. And we're going to take a little tour this morning. And we're going to walk down Myrtle Avenue to Cooper. And we'll see if we can catch some old sights. Right now I'm under this, uh, this uh, trestle here. This is a shot going down Myrtle Avenue. Actually, I'm on a 60, 61st Street. The Central at Myrtle. And if we pan up there, we're going to see an old train just happens to be parked there. And I'm doing my pans a little slower now. I think it'll be easier to see. And there it is. That's looking down Myrtle Ave. We have some shops here. We have a gift shop. Gift shop in a deli. And a real realty group. And if you cross the street, you have an insurance company. And a barber shop. A beauty shop. Community board. Oh, cigar store. <laughs> tattooing and on this corner is the Greater Ridgewood Youth Council which I'm crossing right now. And this is 62nd Street. Bus stop here. Collectible store, podiatry store, real estate. What do we have across the street? Appliance store, dance studio. Looking down 64th Street, down there, that's uh, Auto Road. And over here we have another uh, everything store. Apparently everything in there is made in the United States. And that used to be a health food store, and that was there for years. Some more restaurants, realties. And what is here? This red store, Celtic. Gas house, that's probably makes some really good food there. Dental group, drug store. Now that's the corner of 64th Street. It's a Japanese restaurant there. I think when I was a kid, there used to be a beauty salon, a beauty shop there. And now coming up on this pizzeria on this corner, nothing seems to stay here. It was a pizzeria, uh, Chinese takeout. It's just one of those corners that almost seems cursed. The store pops up there, and within, within a few months, it's gone. Next to it, they opened up a Parksbury coffee shop. And on my right here is the Christ Tabernacle. Uh, now, if this is a big building. I'm gonna get a shot up there. It says the Belvedere. If anybody knows what was here, it could have been a movie house. But right now it's a Christ Tabernacle, a Christian, Christian church. And now we're coming up on Cypress Hills Street. Now across. Across the street is a stop and shop. And when I was younger, that used to be a finest, finest supernut market. That's Cypress Hill Street. And if you go farther down there, ooh, maybe like a mile or so, you're going to run into a cemetery. And that's where Harry Houdini is buried. Not too far in from the, uh, from the road. Over there, the bank and some dental offices. Coming up on this white building with this man. This is the old. This is the old Gebhardt's restaurant. It's been out for quite a number of years. Uh, what's going on there? Yeah, it's been out for quite a while. And let's see across the street. Dentist. Uh, Ridgewood Ambulance. 
coming up on 65th place. What is this? This looks new. Like a kids learning shop. 99 cent store. Little deli. And that's something you see a lot of in Glendale. The American flag. Always a welcome sight. An upholstery store. Gosh, this store has been there for years. Green parlor, orange from that. Liquor store. And the dentist. And the dance studio here. 66th Street. I bet that liquor store has been there for quite a number of years. It's just panning down the 66th Street. And that's 66th Street. I crossed the street. Trees are in full swing of green. Joe, what is that? Joe Foucault's Music Center. Now I know that's been there a while. The video store. I think it's an Italian American social group. And then that's probably been there a long time. A funeral home. Fruit Market. 66th Street? 66th place. And they renamed it David Mark Sullen's place. Maybe he uh, maybe he passed away in 9-11. I don't know. I think there was a good amount of people from the Glendale area who lost their lives in that attack. See, a video distributor. Sheet metal. A pet salon. And uh, John Gogol Printing, which has probably been there for a while. 